Yo guys, what's up? It's Space TH, and welcome back to part three of how to create a basic music character. If you have been keeping up with me, I'm sorry I kind of slacked off. Life's kind of been getting at me, so I do apologize for that. But if you're watching this video for the first time and you need to know how to start off from the beginning to where we're at now, just go back to the first video. It's in the playlist in the link description below. So in this video, we're actually going to finish learning how to import sprites in general and be done with that and move on to the next topic. So let's get into it. All right, so now that we got everything we want, make sure your sprites are facing towards the right. Make sure you didn't import all your hurt sprites because from group 5000 image zero to group 5072 to image 20, those are all your hurt sprites. So remember those 65 uh, slots I already told you not to delete? Those 63 are gonna be your hurt sprites. The other two is gonna be icon for the show in the game and a picture for the character selection so we'll leave those alone for now let's just go to group 5000 you know there you go so make sure everything is, is facing towards the right if it's not facing towards the right for the hurt sprites do it in paint flip it around save it bitmap there you go repeat inside and rinse with the palette thing and you, you're good to go if you have any other poses or any other sprites that are facing towards the left and they're not hurt poses. What you could do is go to the image and uh, do the animations. Wherever you set it up, you see what says flip. Hit that H, and it flips it around. There you go. But for right now, let's get back to this. All right. So instead of just going to add all the time for these hurt poses, because they're already a, uh, a picture slot inside of this whole SF SFF uh, file. You're going to hit change, which is right next to add. You're going to find your PCX files. Not your bitmaps, your PCX. Uh, which one? This is the hurt pose one. This is a very, very tedious process because not every image is going to need it, you know? So, there you go. That's one. Next image. It's the same hurt pose again. This time, try to put it lower. You're going to put it lower for certain reasons because certain characters were, that are coded, they have a certain group and image number for when a character attacks your character and a certain pose. Otherwise, it just shows them invisible, and that's weird. But, yeah. Next one, same pose. Bring it down lower. There you go. Now it looks like this, you know. It, it looks weird, right? But that's how it's done. Alright. Let's go a little further. Let's go to it. Here we go. 40. Where's her pose number? Yeah, group 5000. 30. Image 40. Let's put this pose here. Let me put this up a little more higher. Yeah. This is good. And there's another one right there. What I would do for the 5031, if you have Sonic Sprites and you have the not back pose when you're flying across the wall and everything, then I would use all four of these for like the first four slots. It's easier. All right. And then right here. All right. So the first four uh, slots. There you go. Just make sure it align. It's lined up right. I probably didn't do it right because I'm not using the onion onion skin, but eh, I guess the job done nonetheless. You can always check it out in the animations to see if it's lined up or not. But that's beside the point. All right. So finish doing all that. You know, go back to frame. We're at what five thousand? Go to five thousand one, rinse and repeat, and 
you know how I did the first one you keep going keep going etc etc you can flip it up if you want whatever the case may be do it how you feel like it's right to you I'm not gonna sit there and force you because this right here this is kind of like a, a very difficult slash tedious process because you can't really base it off like other mutant characters you know you don't know what's gonna work and what's not gonna work sometimes you might float uh, you might be below the stage platform or you might be uh, above the stage platform or you know it, it's it's really like a hit and miss thing so it, it's not 100% perfect but it's enough to be be satisfied with and since this is like your first time for those who are doing this for the first time I'm not expecting y'all to really go ham with it just try your best that's all you can do alright finish doing all these and then we'll continue on to the animations. I'm gonna uh, teach y'all how to do the icon and the picture, and then we go on to the animations. Now that we got all this done, you know, we aligned all the sprites up and everything. It took me a minute because I had to sit here and really, like, align all my sprites up pretty darn decent. I'll make them look decent. <clears throat> so, now that I did that, alright, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to teach you guys how to do the whole uh, icon and picture for the Mugen game or whatever. So right now, as you can see at the bottom, these actually tell you the requirements for these uh, two pictures to be fit into the game. You know, 25 by 25 pixels is your icon image. So you can get whatever icon image you want, and that'll be your solely, like, kind of thing. So we're going to do that right now. You know, we are definitely going to do that right now. Just let me get all my stuff, and then it'll be easy that way. All right, now... So, let's go, instead of going to add, because we're not adding this, we're just going to import it easy, you know. So, what we're going to do is go to change, right? So, this is the icon. Let's look for the icon, which is right here. That's the icon. That truly is the icon. So, because it's a small icon and everything, you don't need nothing big because of the box parameters around it, and it will help you do that as well. So, uh, here's what we're going to do. Before we do anything else, let's go into this. Let's do picture. Who is that? Right here. Now we got the picture. We're not going to test the picture to see if it works right now at this point in time because it is not worth it right now. All right. We're not doing that right now. We're going to test the icon. This is the main thing right now we're going to test. The picture thing, we can worry about that once we get enough stuff done to actually uh, put it into Mugen and test it to see if it works. So for right now, let's run Win Mugen. No escape! Fight! 
As you can see, the icon is perfectly fit inside of the box. None of the pixels are sticking out the box, you know, and whatnot. So there you go. And what, that looks really nasty right there, see? <laughs> we, we're, we're definitely going to be doing a lot of changing stuff, too, though. So don't worry. You know, th th this is just disgusting. So um, there you have it, you know. In our next video, we're going to be doing a lot of... Uh, which we call it. Uh, we're gonna be doing some major like work in the next video. This is gonna be our next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna do this, you know. So make sure you have all your sprites already lined up, already inside, you know, like how I got it. Make sure it's all lined up and everything, you know. It'll be easier that way. So that way, when we can work on what we need to work on, all of it will be there for you and everything else. All right, we're going to be doing all this soon, very soon. And then while we're doing all this, you know, getting it all to be animated, looking nice and smooth or whatever, I'm going to be teaching you as well about the collision boxes and the hit boxes. So we want to look out for that. And as right now, just finish doing what you're doing, you know, getting all your sprites imported and lining them up to make them look neat. And then... The next video will be the animations topic. So until then, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I'm Space TH. I'm going everybody. Peace out.